Turn in your Bibles today to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and I'm going to begin reading at verse 13. At this time in the history of the church, many of the believers were wondering what was going to happen to those who had died before Jesus came back. In the background, you will see the Golden Gate. We sing the song, I will meet you in the morning just inside the Eastern Gates. I'm standing on the Mount of Olives, and in between us and the Golden Gate is a Jewish cemetery. Right in front of us is the tombs of the prophets, the tomb of Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. Those prophets have wonderful things to say about the future events that are going to take place in history. But today, let's read from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus rose from the dead, even so them also which sleep in Christ will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain shall not hinder those that are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. It was the prophet Zechariah that said that someday Jesus is going to return to this beautiful Mount of Olives. His feet is going to stand upon the mount. 